coming, man. Yeah. I'm here first. Be fair, man. <laughs> Move it down. That's the spot. Uh, yeah, it's my first time here in over five years. So I came here in XTC, I think it was 2012. Yeah, so we are prepared for takeoff. <laughs> the car is definitely like a whole new level for sure. Mainly today with practice, everything was really going smooth, like no complaints with the car. Just pretty much me getting used to the track as fast as I can. So when I was here for XTC, we didn't run this layout. You know, I'm really trying to focus on just getting my line and my commitment and angle down. And I struggled a little bit with it today. Day two pretty much was a, an, an entire different event. I mean, woke up at the hotel, looked out the window and it was raining. Yeah, and then the track stayed wet almost all day. We had one practice session Friday morning that would then lead into qualifying. And yeah, driving in the rain can be a challenge. As a driver, it's awkward because you kind of have to hold back. So when we're driving, you know, you're watching the rain practice and it's so slow. Basically, you have to hold back in the rain, which is kind of difficult. With me not exactly having the track dialed, that helped me. You know, like the rain helped me actually enter in, take my time, read the line, and I'm trying to walk through the zones with a very slow pace of the car in the rain and just check off where I need to be and where I need to be looking. Towards the end of Friday's practice, the rain stopped, which led into my qualifying pass number one. The track was super difficult to read and I basically just tried to play it as safe as possible to get a score. By the time the second qualifying pass came down, this was pretty much where I was able to just take the car set up put it back on Thursday's settings, and just lay down a Thursday run. I definitely wasn't as confident as I wanted to be. Well, I ended up in 13th position for today's race with an 82 as a high score for qualifying. I'll be battling Michael Essa in the top 32 and then Frederick Osbo in the top 16. Today's Saturday, the sun's out, the crowd is awesome, everyone is super cool. Thursday's practice, we were too slow. I was trying to get the track down. The car was nice and buttery and pretty easy to drive. And all of that happened really quick. So now it's the main event. We're gonna need to tighten the car up and go as fast as everybody else. So I have a bit of a challenge on my hands with that. Today's just about commitment and lay it all on the line, man. Make it happen. Saturday morning's practice was super fun. It just was good times. I think the entire class was like, cool, we don't have to worry about rain. Let's just do this. And then of course, working with Matt, my spotter, we basically were like, wow, we really stepped it up. Now we're, we're here to compete, so. I think it was the third battle in the top 32. That ended up putting me up against Michael Essa in the top 32. Most people might have counted me out. You know, Essa's a champion, and he's definitely someone that's there to compete and make it happen.
getting through Essa as a champion. Then next up on the bracket was Frederick Oswald as another champion. So I knew my bracket was going to be tough. I know Ospo is going to run a clean race, and I know he's going to be fast and smooth. But with Ospo, I definitely was like in chase the whole time, so I was trying to catch him. I switched back with Ospo right about the same time he switches back, but my car placement is wrong, so I end up hitting the front clip. So it was a deduction online on my part, and to be honest, that's all it takes to lose, because Osbo's gonna be consistent, and he's gonna be smooth, and if he didn't make that big of a mistake, then he wins. Good lead, good chase from him, but still, I punted that first interclip, which is the focal point of the crowd, you know what I mean? So basically the lesson learned from that battle was timing and grip in the car. Could have added a little more grip and I needed to keep composure of my time. The takeaways from this event were for sure like, the car's in one piece, this track was super dangerous and super sketchy. So we made it out safe with the chassis, especially being that there's only two weeks before Seattle. So that's a huge takeaway. Um, another takeaway, I closed the gap on the points chase. So leaving this event, headed to Seattle, I will be in 16th position, 20 points away from potentially moving up to 14th or 15th. Or from 15th to 14th. You know what I mean. I understand that the position I'm in is a blessing. And so I am really thankful for the whole team, the entire package of sponsors we have this season to make this happen. It's a pretty rare spot that I'm in and I'm definitely super thankful for it. Just wanna say thank you guys and see you guys in Seattle.